Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Mackenzie. I'm 25 years old. I have a two-year-old son and I'm a mess. It has been like over a year since I've filmed. So here's what you missed. I got a new job. I got my real estate license. And then I quit real estate. I became a single mom. Hi, baby. <laughs> I missed you. I rented out my house and I moved in with my parents. Welcome to our co-sleeping mess of a room. Our whole life, mine and Jace's, in one room. Copper, do you like living here? Yeah. Pretty nice, hey? I got my own place. Wait, wait, circle back, I did what? Yes, I did the hardest thing I've ever had to do, and I became a single mom. I'm sorry that this video is going to come across a little choppy, but I was just editing and I stupidly was filming when it was raining and so the background noise during the majority of the clips is so bad. So I'm just gonna cut away to here and basically reiterate the gist of what I was saying in some of these clips. It's been about five months since we called it quits on our almost eight year long relationship. That's big. I have tried to film this video so many times, so many different ways, at different times throughout this process. At the end of the day, I just don't think I am ready to be that vulnerable. And for the benefit of my son, I also don't want to air too much information about how everything went down, um, why we decided to split. I just don't think that's important. That's not an important part about my story. And I just want to keep that between me and Jace's dad. But at the end of the day, him and I just wanted completely different things out of life and it was never going to work. No matter how hard we tried, no matter how bad we wanted it to work for Jace. I feel like I failed our kid. Um, it just, it couldn't. It just came time that my happiness needed to matter. It's been hard. <laughs> I, uh... I cried a lot <clears throat> and I'm like getting emotional about it right now um, just because looking back like thinking back about where I was like five months ago and it was like it was a dark time for sure um, I think the hardest part was feeling like I failed as a mom and like failed my child, that now his life was gonna be so much harder and my life was gonna be so much harder and that was like a hard pill to swallow. We didn't come to this decision lightly and I'd be lying if I said I didn't have moments where I wished I could have just stuck it out for Jace. Um, and I think that's the easy thing to say right now. It's the easy way out to think maybe I could have stuck it out instead of truly believing that your better life is out there and that the partner for you that's going to make you the happiest is still out there and that you will find that one day 
Um, I don't know when, but it's, I think it's worth holding on to that one day I'm going to find someone to share my life with who's going to love me, who's going to love my kid, and my happiness ultimately affects Jace's happiness. And I just finally decided that that was important. I think I lost a lot of myself in my relationship trying to make it work, trying to be what everybody needed me to be. And I feel like I've just become a whole different person. Um, more of a negative person, more insecure, more emotional, um, and I just feel like I kind of have lost myself in the process. So to be the best person that I can be, to be the best mom that I can be, and to one day find someone that's exactly who I need in my life. I have to find who I am, who I want to be, and just go from there. And I have so much growth to do. I know that. Um, but I'm just, I'm confident that in this extremely difficult time, in this extremely difficult decision, I am on the right track. So some of you may be wondering why the heck I'm picking up a camera and documenting my life. My life that was in shambles just months ago and is, I'm just starting to pick up the pieces now. But ultimately, I've been to hell and back. I want to be able to look back and be so proud of where I've come from. And how much I've grown and how much I've changed. And how much my kid has changed. Like, I love looking back at my old videos. And you forget. Like, you forget what they're like when they're that little. Like, it go, the time goes by so fast. And that's why I love to document it. And I want to get back to doing things that I love. And just being me. We have been living with my parents for the last two months. Um, which has been hard, but good. Um, I think it's kind of a, more so of a blow to your self-esteem when you have to move back in with your parents and you know you can't support yourself or you have nowhere to go um but at the end of the day moving in with my family has been like the greatest thing they have been so supportive so much help with jace especially in like the fresh days um you know, I'm not going to lie, there was moments where I didn't want to get out of bed. And having family near, um, and just to like be surrounded by people, I think like being alone is like really hard, especially when you haven't exactly been alone for the last eight years. But they've just... I'm just so thankful to have family that could help me through this and you know they helped me um, buy this new house that we're moving into and I just could not have asked for a better support system. I hope to inspire any of you that are out there that are struggling whether it be in your personal life, in a relationship, um, if you're just a mom and you're just having a hard time adjusting, you can overcome the hardest things in life. You can do more than you think you can. 
and don't be scared to take that leap towards happiness because you deserve it and if your mom your kid deserves it it can be scary as hell but at the end of the day when you start taking care of yourself your life is going to be so much better and you're going to do so many great things and you know i'm at rock bottom right now <laughs> um but i don't feel hopeless and helpless like i did five months ago i feel optimistic that I'm going to build a great life for me and my kid. And it's going to be freaking awesome. And I'm excited to bring you guys along. And hopefully you can help inspire me and I can help inspire you to just live a more authentic life. So if you guys are watching this video, leave some comments down below. Let me know your story or offer some encouragement to me or somebody else um, be kind and just embrace your journey wherever you are wherever you're going just love every moment of it no matter how hard it is I'm really excited to be able to share this and I hope you come along with me so thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate it and I just wish you all the best.